What's up, guys? Uh, so welcome to my edition of my new comic book cabinet. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking uh, on other various pages where I posted the cabinet um, some questions like, what is it made of? Uh, what, uh, what did you use? How much did it cost? You know, things like that. So let's get started and I'll explain to you. So basically, um, what I have here is uh, uh, the board I used up top here is uh, melamine wood. Um, it's white already. You don't have to paint it. It's got a nice finish to it. I use that for the outside of the cabinet. And um, the inside of the cabinet is a medium density board, um, basically. Um, I had paint up here so that, you know, it would look appealing from the outside. And when you looked at it, you couldn't really tell that, you know, it was brown or whatnot. But you can go more in depth and paint more, but it just wasn't worth it to me. So I got this idea. Um, from Cougar Comics. So if you look online, you'll find Cougar Comics, and uh, or if you search, search YouTube, you'll find him. And he had this idea uh, to make this cabinet. Great idea. Um, him and a couple other guys, he got took this idea from another gentleman and perfected it. And then I took his idea and added to it on top of it and perfected it the way I wanted to. And you can take this idea and run with it however you see fit. He's got a couple videos. I suggest you check him out, Cougar Comics. And he can break down the drawers and how they're built better. So basically, uh, this averages anywhere from, I would say, uh, 150 to 200 bucks, depending on how stuffed you want to get it. I left space in here because I'm missing about 20 bucks in my Amazing Spider-Man run right here. Um, but this gives me, you know, better feeling for getting in here um, versus having to uh dig through you know long boxes the rollers on the side uh, i went with full extension rollers um i bought them wholesale uh, i bought 20 you know pairs of them and they're pretty good they work up to 150 pounds um, when you pull out right here you know it doesn't really flex too much i'm trying to do this from up here so you can see and it just fully extends out there the drawer doesn't bow or, you know, the cabinet doesn't fully all go. Now you don't want to, you know, of course, like any dresser or anything like that, um, pull all the way out. So all of them, you know, the dresser will tip over. Uh, that sound, by the way, is the plastic. Um, some of my plastics on my comics aren't taped all the way down, so it's rubbing on the top right here. Uh, I'm going to get to taping them down. I just, you know, haven't got to it. The difference I did between Cougar Comics was he didn't have full extensions. I went with full extensions. He had three quarters, which means he could only really use three quarters of the drawer. Um, it didn't look like he could go all the way back, which kind of was for me. I, I wanted to spend a little bit extra money and get these, which um, bringing me to cost. These both cabinets here uh, cost $345 um, with materials. You know, that included the extenders, the wood, the handles, the screws, um, everything to make. And that's not bad. Um, he did it one way where he made one whole cabinet, which was awesome. But, you know, at the end of his video, he said it, it, he see, foresees a problem where he might not be able to get it out of there. You know, it's a big cabinet. He'd have to take it all apart. And I didn't want that. I customized mine, you know, high. Um to accommodate you know where it was going it, it's in a closet so you know i've got the closet bar right there and i wanted to be able to have them fit in there so that they're you know outside of where i have them so they're not sticking out or anything like that and they fit pretty well in that closet area uh, another thing was i added handles um it looked like he he and a couple people had, you know, this up here. I ended up having handles. I think he might have added them later, too. Um, but I found some good handles online for a good price and bought those wholesale, too. And you can get, if you shop around, you can get most of these fairly cheap. I wouldn't recommend going to Home Depot for a lot of stuff. Um, it's very expensive. Each pair of these were like 26 bucks. I think I ended up paying, you know, nowhere near that. Um, the rollers were like $118, so... Uh, for 20 pairs and you know maybe they're not the best quality one but they do an amazing job as they are so um, I'm not trying to build a rocket science here just need them to go slide in now um, I do have a lot more room 
in a lot of the drawers here. Uh, you know, you can see here. The, these drawers also will fit uh, Golden Age comics. Let me get a, a tape measure and you can kind of see. So, you know, that's just about how big they are. And depth wise, you know, they're a good, nice little fit. Um, I don't have too many Golden Age books. I have mainly silver, bronze, modern, um, full runs of Amazing Spider-Man almost, Fantastic Four full run, you know, X-Men full runs. So, um, yeah, uh, let's see. I don't know if I can think of anything else. This looks like a problem to me because they're sitting on carpet, as you can see. So I might, I was looking for like a clamp. I might drill them together so that they have a better, you know, stand. Um, don't want them, you know, earthquake wearing back and forth. I do have more room on the side there. You know, I could have put another cabinet, but, you know, I could have made this three deep, but I do have my new mutants cabinet here. I wouldn't want to, you know, have that in the way. Um, let me see. Can't think of many other questions I asked. If you want to learn how to build this, I suggest going to Cougar Comics's uh, YouTube. I'll link it in my section below. He basically laid the foundation uh, for everything that you know I learned, and it was a great idea. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I'll show you a picture of before any of this was here, and you know you can see how much of a mess and how much cleaner this looks um, in my room. So. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I covered everything. You know, if you guys have any questions or any further questions or you want, uh, you know, further links to other comic book cabinets, I've been researching this for a while. So I wanted this something presentable here to, you know, showcase what I had going on here because, you know, most of my other stuff in my room is, is showcased, you know, very presentable. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching my channel and uh, liking my stuff. I appreciate it. Later.